Yeah, Jacqueline, a very solemn day here at the barracks. State police tell me that you can see the Commonwealth flag is at half staff. If you take a look, it's in honor of these two troopers. They expect state police that the young driver who is in custody here will be charged. The district attorney says she could face serious consequences. They have not released her name yet. This morning, these troopers made the ultimate sacrifice, losing their lives trying to help someone else in danger. There's no greater act of selflessness. Hailed heroes in the wake of tragedy, 33-year-old Trooper Martin Mack and 29-year-old Trooper Brandon Siska died in the line of duty early this morning. According to Pennsylvania State Police, around 1245, the troopers responded to a report of a man walking in the left lane on I-95 South just before the sports complex. As they were attempting to put him into custody and walk him back to the vehicle, a vehicle traveling at a high rate of speed in the left lane in between the Jersey barrier and the left lane itself and then struck all three individuals. The impact was so great that it threw the troopers over into northbound lanes of Interstate 95. Investigators tell us the female driver who had a passenger in the car also hit the Jersey barrier and then ended up in the right shoulder. The driver is in custody. At the Troop K barracks on Belmont Avenue in Philadelphia, state police brought in the woman's Chevy and the trooper's SUV to process for evidence. State police tell us they're conducting a DUI-related investigation into the deaths of the man walking on I-95 and the troopers. They both had bright careers ahead of them, and it saddens me to know how their lives were senselessly cut short. This morning, Philadelphia police officers helped escort the bodies to the medical examiner's office, where state police were standing by, trying to console each other. When you see something like this tragic happen, it it's move, moves us all. Back at the barracks, people from the community brought flowers and said they would pray for the young troopers' families. It's a reminder of, for the state troopers of what a heroic thing that they do for us each and every day. They lay their lives on the line for all of us. And these state flags that Governor Wolf ordered to fly at half staff at state buildings will stay this way through Friday and then on the day of the funerals. As for the man walking on 95, state police have not released his identity. They're working to notify his family. We also have not heard any details about the passenger inside the driver's car. Reporting live from the Troop K Barracks, I'm Rosemary Connors, NBC 10 News. Still so much to process. Rosemary, thank you.